Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. This is a quick product review. Somebody asked me to do this. I just posted a picture to say I'd pick these up really cheap. Um, and they said, can you do a review? So, yeah, okay. It's just a quick one. It's not going to be a long video. Um, so these are um, a 24 pack of brush pens um, that I picked up in Lidl's, which is a supermarket here um, in the UK. It's a German brand. Uh, German company. Um, the brand is Crelando, so I don't know actually who that is. Um, and they were 3 99 3 99 for 24 pens. So what are they like? Let's have a look. So they come in a plastic clippy case. So as you can see, it's a hard case. So they're really well protected. They clip up like this. Like that. And they clip in. They don't have colour names or numbers. They do just say on it an IAN number, Quilando, and they're sort of triangular. They're not square, they're triangular. So I don't know if the numbers are different, indicating a colour number or anything. Nope, it's exactly the same number. So there's no colour name, no colour number, but you can see what they are. So I'll take the top off and have a quick look. So as you can see, it's a brush pen. They're advertised as fine liners because it's got a good tip. So I have been colouring with these and I'll show you what I've been doing with it later, but let's get a piece of paper. So I've got a writing pad here just, just to show you. And I'm just gonna take out the black one. So just to show you, so I suppose you could, if you use the point, zoom right in. If you use the point, you could get quite fine line, slightly thicker line. I'm not very good at straight lines until you get this line and that line so yeah they are a fine liner so they you know they're good for coloring in gaps and I thought these would be great for patterns so we did start coloring a picture in my my little pony book just because I wanted to um, try and color something this afternoon with them very very quickly so this they do streak so they're not brilliant for colouring a normal picture. So this is the picture I started colouring. As you can see, there's lots of streakiness in it, but that's fine, I don't mind that. I just wanted to colour something in this book and I thought, let's give it a go and see what they're like. So, but I have got a pattern-ish picture here. It's, um, I bought these from Amazon. There were three in the pack and this is the Art of Colouring Botanical. As you can see, it's very in depth. So I thought we would just do some, quick bit of colouring with some of the colours. We use some yellow and some pinks and some reds just to have a quick look. So I don't know what this yellow is like. I've not used this one. So it was quite a nice light colour. So as you can see, it's great. It's not bleeding very much. They're going in quite nicely. So you can get into the small areas as well. Like I said, this is just a quick video just to show you what they're like. You know, you might have noticed this is going up on a Tuesday, which is normally First Impressions Day. And I know you're all waiting for the final picture from um, the Castle Arts one. And I haven't finished it yet. So I don't know if these blend. I haven't finished it yet. I'm working on it at the moment. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of this nice pink here around there. Let's just see what happens if I put another pen down, another pink. Oh, that's an, actually that does look at that does blend quite nicely. It blends out quite nicely actually. So yeah, obviously you got to do it quick before they dry. So I, I'm just trying to get it to move. Yeah, but I like that. That looks really nice actually. So I think they'll be all right on this. This paper they seem to work better on than the um, My Little Pony bet there's they're not streaking as badly but we'll try a bit of background in a minute so but yeah they, they blend all right they seem to blend all right obviously the quicker you can get in there it's not blended as well at the end there but that's okay so like I said, this is not going to be a long video. I'm not going to colour the whole picture in and, and show you the whole one. It's just a quick video just to show you how they perform and it's not even on camera very well. I do apologise. Um, but yeah, I like the pinks. The pinks are really nice colours and I'm very impressed with those pinks. Um, there is the two purples, a very dark purple and a very light purple. 
So I've got the dark purple, I'm just going to put it in here in the middle, like that. And we'll take a lighter one and we'll see if there's not a lot of difference in the colour to be honest. It's a nice colour though. Oh, that's nice. I just thought I'd do this one leaf, or one petal rather, even though I haven't done the yellow bit on that. I can't go in any further, can I? No. Didn't think so. So I'm just going to tidy that up. Looks alright. Yeah, they're, they're alright actually. These, these, you know, they're not, for 3 99 they're not a bad pen. To be fair, they're not bad. I mean, they are only cheap. I'm going to use a one of the greens now to do some of the stems. So we'll just come here and so as you can see, it's quite nice. So these are actually in the Lidl's book for this week. So this is um, the week just gone. It runs from Wednesday, I think, through the week. And I went, I go shopping on a Sunday. Um, so I don't know whether they'll have them in your branch because all branches vary. Uh, in with their products. I know that I had some uh, gel pens once from Lidl's and they had them in the book that they were going to get them in again and they didn't get them in my branch or if they had they'd sold out very quickly but I just don't think they had them. So I was fully prepared. I knew that they were coming into stock but, uh, but I didn't know whether or not my branch would have them. So um, I was fully prepared that they wouldn't necessarily have them in and I was starting to think they wouldn't and then I found them and I was like yeah and they're 3 99 I'm having them. And I bought two packets, because I bought one for Jennifer for Christmas. And I'm thinking she probably isn't going to get them, because they're too nice. But then if they've still got them in next week, because sometimes if they've got stock left, they're in there the following week as well. I might just pick them another packet for me next week, and then she'll have her packet as well. So yeah, these are very nice. for This paper is quite thick card. Um, it's thicker than the normal Amazon paper, so it's not it's not Amazon Create Space or whatever they call it, independent publishing one. It's not that sort of paper, it's a thicker paper, so it actually goes down quite well. I like it. Um, obviously, I'm going to colour this whole picture in now with these, so it'll go in my bag with my um, colouring supplies. And that I take down to do in the evening in the garden after tea. I like to sit and do a little bit of colouring for 10 minutes out there. Jennifer's out there with me playing or if she's gone to bed I'll, uh, I'll do a bit of colouring with them. Um, and I'm going to take um, a slightly dark blue, not completely dark, and I'm just going to do a bit of background here just to see how it handles on a bigger space on this card. Like that. Now I have to colour the entire background that colour. That's okay. It's quite a nice blue actually. There is a lighter one, the one I used in the um, My Little Pony book. So like I said, this is only a short video just to show what I think of them. They do blend a little bit. Um, I think they're better on this card paper than on the normal colouring paper. They don't seem to be streaking as much. They still are a bit, but not as much. And uh, I do like them. Well, let me put it this way. Are they worth $3.99? Yes, absolutely. They're not going to break your bank. They're just something to put in your colouring arsenal for when you want something that's got a fine tip that you can you can colour in quickly by using a big tip you can go into the little gaps quite easily um, it's how well they'll last is going to be the test so I'll let you know when I do but I'm very glad I picked them I'm so glad they had them in and I picked them up because we're all always hearing about how we buy the expensive markers and the expensive liners and there's nothing wrong with these cheaper brands so with that, my battery's running out. It's only a 10 minute video, but there you go. And I've only shown you a few colours. If you want to see me colour in a pattern book 
or one of my books with these pens let me know in the comments down below so just a quick cap these are 3.99 the caps come off of that blue one that's fair um, they're called Crelando and they're currently on sale in Lidl's UK I don't know if they're in any of the other branches so check out your local Lidl's you might get lucky and they might be there I hope they are because they are really nice pens they're definitely worth picking up for 3.99 you know, if you just want to do a quick pattern, you don't fancy getting your pencils out or your expensive pens, they're definitely worth it. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick product overview. If you have, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.